Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another day at D and J Projects. It is myself, Finbar, and New Man Jack right there, and we ourselves are on this one. Who remembers this? Just filling in this channel like a little drainage system. Got limestone chipping so the water can drain through those stones. And then we've got uh, two ton, just over two ton of topsoil to sprinkle on top, you know, to give it a good layer of topsoil after. Um, post, solid, not really going anywhere now. Nah. Uh, yeah, last time it was here, this was all covered in snow, weren't it? And ice, but uh, still a little bit cold, but not too cold. But we're going to get all of the grab sorted, ready to go, guys. And then we'll start taking you along for the ride. That's one step of protecting the neighbor's grass. So obviously they look after it, but don't want to get on anyone's bad side. We're trying to keep everyone nice and happy. But fencing's looking good, right, still, guys? It's looking good indeed. Hopefully we've got enough. We have brought plenty, though. I'll just go and show you. This short bag, yeah? Plenty of limestone. Got some topsoil at the top as well. Yeah? We'll crack on with the first few and then we'll catch up with a time lapse and whatnot, guys. Well, let's get it. This is the way it looks on this side, so we've got a lot. <laughs> like I said, eight full buckets this was. Yeah, eight full buckets. Let's get it. A few moments later. So we've separated it between the two differences now. Oh, the only thing with these. Oh, it's like you've got nicks. Yeah, separating it through. The boys are just running through, and then when it gets a pile on the floor, because this is still an active sort of pathway, I'm just brushing it, or making sure it's nice and secure and safe for everybody else that's doing obviously the walking business. But this is obviously Fraser Avenue. Remember when it snowed? It's not necessarily the hill overall, but you see that bit there? It, the road just disappears, because that just disappears down there. Look at it, it's absolutely crazy. Let me zoom in for you. Look. The road's gone. It goes from that to obviously that over there. Where's the road gone? <laughs> so you can imagine when it ices, this road is crazy. And for anyone interested, myself, my dad, Chelsea, we all went to school just over there, secondary school. And guess what? It's been knocked down now. I don't know if that's saying much for our education. <laughs> Let us know in the comments what you think to that. So, see what we're working with, guys. Lovely. It's about six inches, maybe just a bit more lower at the minute. So we can chuck some more. There will be a gravel board to run across here to lock it in. So here, uh, there'll be a gravel board, wall plate going onto this wall. Gravel board will sit against that so it can't push anywhere. And then once it's got this layer up to it, that'll be fine. And then the next layer will run layer uh, there. Cause obviously this ground is higher than this ground. So there will be a gravel board here, guys. But yeah, obviously we need a little bit more limestone in there. Cause obviously we don't need it full with soil, but lads are doing a good job. Can't fault it so far. So big shout out to Finbar and New Man Jack. Because obviously they're on battery all day. I say all day, it might not take all day because we're smashing it right now. And obviously over here, it's not as deep. It's quite deep there, but <laughs> here, it's more soil. More of a soil bed rather than a limestone. Probably from... Uh, yeah, probably from somewhere around about here onwards, it's just soil. Limestone up to there, soil from there, because this isn't deep, or as deep, should I say, as you can see there, look, but over there, it's quite deep. But the boys are uh, just shoveling it up now, because I put it into piles ready. As they go off, I start shoveling and 
getting everything ready for the next one. But yeah, that's what we're doing. And I am wearing a hard hat with everyone. Well, obviously I didn't need all that in there, but it's right here and I put it on every time I get to the grub. Let's go. Down there? Yeah. New man, new man. This way. Uh, yeah. Yep. Simple as that. Fourth all day like that. And then when they come back with the wheelbarrow, just scoop that up, go again, repeat the process until it's all filled in down there. So yeah. Simple. <laughs> the neighbors brought us out a cup of tea. Thank you very much, but I don't know if you'll ever see this, but we do appreciate it, thank you. But we're down to our last few bits of stone now, obviously chucking it into the barriers, obviously tidying up as we go. But um, it's gonna be close, it's gonna be close. We'll get to the soil, we'll put that down. Um, there's a gravel board and that, like I've mentioned. I forgot the bloody gravel board, so I have got to go back and do that either way, but I might need more soil anyway, so it might be a blessing. But Either way, we're getting this job ticked off, done, dusted, today. Gravel board there. 
but that's what we're after guys a few inches from the top topsoil the rest yes boys are doing a cracking job like mentioned earlier only needs to be soil there cracking job boys cracking job now we've got two ton maybe just over of topsoil they've already shifted probably roughly seven ton of uh, limestone chippings two ton of soil now how'd you feel Finn? Feel good? Feel good? Yeah, feel good. The Fininator. Fin Barbarian. Fin Barbarian. Two more tons to go. Good morning. It is Friday. Everybody loves a Friday. Ducks. Ducks at the minute, looking a bit murky. Had plenty of rain and wind. Uh, the boys are sorting out a load Jordan brought back yesterday. It's still on the back, extracting all the concrete and hardcore out, ready to crush. Because that's all we've got to crush at the minute. And we've got a nice big pile of crushed recycled hardcore. So yeah. Puddles everywhere, absolutely everywhere. Let me show you. Everywhere there's puddles. Someone did mention in the comments, why don't I put wood chip down? The only problem with putting wood chip down on the floor to absorb all the, the rubbish, we'd have to sweep it back up and then it will contaminate the products we make. So it's only like this winter time in summer or when it's dry. It dries up within a day or so. I mean, compared to a couple of hours ago, this is all drying up. Well, let's have a run through some of the products we do. If you're not aware of what the stuff we do, we do build a sun bagged or loose. 10 mil ballast, bagged or loose again. Sharp sand, bagged or loose. 14 mil down limestone. We do gravel boards and concrete posts, which we manufacture ourselves. So that's why we can be so competitive on price. Plenty of them. Rock face, smooth. We do a six inch in rock face and smooth. We do a 12 foot post, 10 foot, eight foot, going right down to six foot. And then we do our lovely blocks, which we supply as well. So we make these blocks all in house, all with our volvometric mixer. So we get the precise mix every single time which is out there. And then when you come over to the wood side, anything bespoke, we can make in wood. So we make gates, panels, we do tongue and groove gates, we do feather edge gates, we even do hardwood gates we can get hardwood gates take a little bit longer to make and order but yeah that's our panel master reese is just making a bespoke panel as we speak so this is the bespoke panel come through as an order reese just making it up now and then he'll jump back on the panel master and knock them lovely panels out which i may had a heavy duty panels we do bow tops we do current caves i think the best place to show you that it's probably there so we'll walk around there we'll have a look oh we do aggregates which stevie did mention the other day but it was dark which 
can see it a bit better now. Still not as washed, but yeah, this is Flamingo. And the one he was asking about, there's the black ice, salt and pepper, as the Danes Lay boys call it. Slate, nice classic. Pea gravel, another classic. Granny dust, which a lot of people say about the granny dust. Different applications for it. But yeah, that's this is a lovely stone. This is. It really is midnight black. Polar ice. That's the one he was on about with the sparkle in it. These are straight from quarries as well. And Warwickshire gold, another classic. Reminds me of the beach. But yeah, we've got all them. And obviously we deliver them out all around the Nottingham area. Block paving. Slabs, you know what this needs sorting out? It needs to be like slabs, edgings, and then paving. Spur posts, we do spur posts as well. Utility slabs for your bin stores, or you can even have them as a patio, as a cheaper alternative. Slabs we make, cheap and cheerfuls. We make these ourselves, just do runoffs. And then we do Indian stone, which I'll show you in a minute. A little bit of a bargain corner. So this is the way you come. If you do come to our shop or our premises, big blue gates, Old base for Church Street. You'll know where we are, big church. Which one day I will be going up there because he says I can go up there and go up and have a look. But yeah, come in. You'll see the sign straight over to the steps. You can have a look at the little display. And then it's just. As you walk up, you hit straight away with a bit of a bargain corner. This is all stuff, one-offs, or you sometimes get some good bargains here. There's a gate here, look. Just a nice skinny gate. There's even a composite gate here with wooden frame in grey. Sizes there, look. And then... Obviously, this is some of the fencing we do. There's some lovely panels. Double-sided for privacy. Or you can even have single-sided. If you want to see your neighbour or screen off... A, well, a lot of people screen hedges and stuff off, don't they? So that would sit in front of a hedge. If the neighbour wants to keep the hedge and you want a fence in front of it. Bow stops, bespokes, slopers. Just under here, look, because we have the pesty pigeon problem, don't we? We've got lots of aggregates and sands and building sands and everything else we do, just like I said in the back. Got some good rates on artificial grass as well. But then you walk into the shop. It's like a little Aladdin's cave. So everything we use on our jobs is in here. So down to the locks, bolts, nuts, pin nails, use these for sleepers, attaching your sleepers, little bargain bin there. You need your packs of screws, look. Pad bolts, all your hinges. And then we have got a selection of tools. Every tool you'll need to put a fence up. Come to the merch. Some amazing deals on the merch if you ring up and order through the shop. So ring the number, order through the shop. Lots of sizes available. Nuts and bolts again. Lovely Maureen. Drainage, something new we started doing this, this year or this season. So your ACO drains, 
any kind of drainage and the pipe with pipes in the other side wood stains mat posts bolt downs if you can't get a post in bolt down there what steve mentioned on the video the other day i don't think you realize if we actually sell them so yeah you can join two three by three posts together or you can join two four by four posts together make a bit of an extension on your fence these ones if you can't get enough in the ground you're two four you can actually concrete these in so if you're doing a slab and you want to build an art building or something concrete these in and then put your wooden post into it yeah lots of stuff don't forget we do grabs as well these are we get asked all the time about these these are the concrete bolts six mil six and a half mil depending on what you put it into you don't need no raw plug just drive it in yeah use these all the time we like it because we've got a flange on where these ones are very very similar but you tend to have to use can't see them and now you can look, a washer so you put a washer on otherwise it just pulls straight through the wood but yeah do all them thunderbolts so 10 mil hole says on it the top lot if you're never not sure that's 10 mil hole that's 130 mil depth so yeah thunderbolts if you're driving or anchoring them them down use thunderbolts straight down look and then ratchet them up or with a spanner they're quite a new one flush ones i haven't seen them before so they're flush where they stick out if you've got to go right up to a building flush ones must be a new product we started doing but yeah thunderbolts got lots of different sizes in thunderbolts and some really big well that's a 12 mil bit look 12 mil 100 mil yeah threaded bar lots of different grasses just like i mentioned outside and it's on free vend at the minute you know what i will have one more meal let's have a latte and while that's making post caps post caps even gloves guys so if you're a trader or even a diy or a member of the public come and get some gloves try them out so our good friends at Paving Stones, direct, Tom and AJ, we can get any kind of paving you want. We don't stock it, but we can get it near enough next day for you. So we'll send the lorries up there, go and grab it for you and deliver it to your door. Actually, that service is there. And what we do, we IAB it off as well. So we we'll IAB it off with the IAB and the grab and get it to your front garden or doorstep. And there's some lovely paving here. And if there isn't anything we have, we have got books as well. So you can go away with a paving stones book, select what you want, and we'll deliver it for you. And just like that, my drink's ready. And this is where the business happens. Comment down below what that is because that's going out on Monday so someone's taking total advantage of a delivery service so we're delivering tools out that's a bit of a clue it is a tool so have a guess and this is where the business happens lovely Chelsea there's Joda and she's not here today <laughs> what are you working on Chels? So Chelsea's working on the website. Some good things happening on the website soon. So when you come up them steps, what I just come up, you'll come past this window, tap on the window, and I'm sure Maureen, who normally sits there, will come and serve you. Or if you're lucky enough, Jodie will. <laughs> what are you working on, Jodie? The eBay shop. So 
So we have got an eBay shop. It's a little bit limited, isn't it? Because we can only sell a couple of items on it. So got 11 on. we've got 11 things on. So <laughs> go and have a look, see if you can find our eBay shop. Uh, what have we got on there? We've got uh, cabin hooks. Safety, safety, pad mask things, flower bolts, pad bolts, auto catchers, catchers ring latches, stuff like that, eight kits. Eight kits, so gate kits are on there. So yeah, we have got an eBay shop. Not a lot on there, 11 items, but we have got one. Well, and there's information on there as well to contact us. You heard it here first. You heard it here first. So yes, I am nipping home now. Just to drop some envelopes off because we've got some stuff to send out but yeah there's the drainage Hello, as well how are you doing it's on me maury <laughs> maury come here <laughs> oh, this is our lovely maureen yes she has a, a comment down below when did maureen come back when did you come back how long have you been back uh, march march why did you come back because I couldn't resist coming back. You missed it, didn't you? Babe? I missed you. I missed you. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone, lo everyone loves yeah. the face of Maureen. Yeah. I'm only doing a few hours, but it keeps me busy. It keeps me keeps me well. It does. Thank you, D and J. It does. It does. So yes, we'll go and take these envelopes now. Nip home. I'll probably grab some lunch on the way back. Reese is on the panel master. You've just missed it. You've just missed. A panel being nailed up. So what it does, it ejects, look. Ejects and then Reese chucks it on top of that. That stack there. I don't know if I'm thinking of words then. Lost, lost my words. Sunny sat there. So yeah, let's go and drop the envelopes off. Here we are. Back on Frida. So, it don't look bad <laughs> until you get down that bit there. And he goes, doop. But yeah, the boys are here. Just want to have a quick look. This is what we're doing, look. So, we're building the back up with limestone because, as you know, it's a big drop the other side. And then we put in a couple of inch of soil all the way down. It probably will sink a little bit over time. But the idea with the limestone is, there's no heavy soil, heavy clay soil pushing against the fence. There's a nice drainage. The water will go down, drain, and it won't push the fence over. But yeah, that's what we do. And this is, I think nearly three weeks later, we're doing this, and that's perfect. Put boards down to protect. They did mention in the comments about the boards. You say we listen. We was always going to put boards anyway with this because obviously this guy's got a nice grass. But when we don't use boards, normally they're doing the garden, so they let us know right. We're on the fence done. Then we're doing the garden after. So it don't really matter if you've messed the uh, grass up or the garden too much. But this garden has been done, and obviously it's going to look nice and tidy when we do that. But yeah, I'm going to nip home now. Drop their envelopes off. So yeah, Stevie is doing that. Lads just shot off. Just, just got a camera around this. Shot around there. So yeah, this is Frida. Frida Avenue. Not too far from my ass. So at the minute, they're digging my road up and they can't get outside the ass. But I just, this minute, rang Berna, so she'll come out and come get these envelopes. That's all we've got left. Last two barrows. Job's done. Dusted. Dad's worked out perfect then, Nanta. Perfect. Because he came and measured this and quoted this. So he worked it out how much we'd need. Worked out perfect. And that is officially what is left. Just swept it away so I can tip it back into the uh, into the bay. Probably screen it again. Just so it's got some limestone chippings and a few little bits. So just screen it again. Um, boys are just bringing the, uh, the boards back, sliding them on. We'll take the tools, give it one final sweep, head off, drop the grab off, clear it, get rid of all the tools, and then we'll fly back, 
in one of the vehicles car i believe because joe's coming the other car today learning to drive so left the truck at home so we're coming one of the boys cars drop a gravel board in screw it in and this job is completed gravel board and all it's doing is just acting as a little retainer 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 between the two different levels as simple as this guys now i can have some grass seed chuck some bark on there maybe some membrane customer neighbor can do whatever they want to do with this now look it's filled in obviously we'll take all the little bits off the panels but it's done so guys absolutely done so that's what we've come to do that's what we've done we've succeeded previously there was a massive hedge here and then a rubbish fencing sort of setup that we did all this so as you can see now we've got a six foot fence for both sets well not that set they've got a taller fence but this this is perfect now so i'm back envelopes all dropped off done just wrapping that up look Maybe wrapping it up all ready to, ready to be sent off so yeah happy days so like i say you can buy stuff if you bring the shop up you can buy stuff and we'll do our best to post it out and we not to like abroad though yeah we can't do abroad guys so i do apologize not not yet anyway <laughs> but uk anywhere in the uk and scotland and wales we can do it uh ireland no you have to send it with royal mail that's plus us like abroad that's what you can do it, but it's with Royal Mail and it's rather they take. They do actually, because I've, I've been yeah. on it. Yeah, I've been on it. So yeah, so yeah, so yeah, possibly we could do islands as well. So yeah, just get in contact with us in the shop and we'll accommodate. Oh, it is quiet. It is quiet. Just me and Jordan. Stevie left. Yeah, it's really quiet. Just have to drop all the air out of the tank, that's what you can hear. So we empty the air out of the compressor every night, so we don't build up with water. So switch it off, put it on 0.5, I know it's blurry. Switch it off, drop all the air out of that tank, and then we've got another tank on the other side, which the compressor services. Yeah, nearly end of video. So when Stevie comes back round, we'll catch up and sign out. We never caught up. So we could never sign out the video guys, but just want to say a massive thank you to every single one of you that have watched this video. Really do appreciate the support that we're getting on the Vlogmas. We're still getting to the grips of it with how much we're having to film, because obviously when we only film on a Wednesday and a Sunday, if we feel like having sort of an easier day on a Tuesday, we know we haven't got to film too crazy because we're not filming as much or releasing as many videos. There's no off days when it comes to trying to put a video out every day apart from Saturday. So this week was like the test run, the trial run. Next week we will be much better. Not saying that we've had a bad week, but there is no video tomorrow. Tomorrow being Monday because we just didn't have enough content filmed on the Friday to get a Monday video. We'll make sure that you get a one next week or the week after. I think anyway, we'll see how it goes, see how it sort of plays out. But five videos is more than uh, your two videos you normally get. So we'll we'll start with minimum five. We'll try six, but minimum five, guys. Um, enjoying it so far. Hopefully you're enjoying the videos. It seems like you're enjoying. We will answer video um, questions again in the next video, I promise you. Um, we'll have a little backtrack and, and uh, maybe do a Q&A video for one of the days. I'm not too sure. Maybe next Saturday we'll have a full, uh, next, yeah, Saturday or something, we'll have a full dedicated video. I'm not too sure, but uh, like the video if you've enjoyed, guys. Subscribe if you're brand new, and me and my dad will see you in the next one on Tuesday. Mm -hmm.